Hello, I'm going to show you all how easy it is to do Dominion Tower. It's pretty easy. The uh, requirements most likely needed would be <clears throat> Soul Split. It's very useful. Void, Sea Mall, and Van Prison. It's not that bad. Anyways, some Rock Tails. Ice Glove for some bosses and some power-ups just to make the kills faster. So, well, I'm gonna do some bosses and show y'all how easy it is. Especially this guy. This guy's about a uh, grand total of four hits. And I got no prayer, but I'm gonna show y'all how easy prayer is. And that's annoying. Eh. Matt, let's see, that... That doesn't really do much, as you can probably can tell. As you can see, it's basically about three hits per stage, and it goes through two stages. Unless you do that. And now these guys are easy. The three golems are pretty easy. They take about three hits each. It's so about like nine hits total to get rid of them. As you can see, even if you have half life points or hit points, whatever you want to call them nowadays, you can still wreck them. See, the abilities make things way too easy, as you can probably can guess. And the food is only needed for a couple of bosses. Let's see. When I get to a boss that needs food, definitely not that one. This one's like two hits or less. Let's see. Pest Queen, you don't need food if you have Soul Split. Uh, let's see, Nomad, all you needed Soul Split. And... Dragonoff Mother version 2. You need food. And the three monkeys from Do No Evil. So yeah, as you can see, I'm wrecking them pretty badly. And these are just power-ups, just for the uh, achievements. To, uh... Gotta try and remember the name of the achievement, but oh well. Let's see, this one doesn't need... Okay. This one doesn't need the, uh... Silver light. And I land on poison. Still makes it easy because poison doesn't do that much of damage. Just when you have that, you can just tank almost everything. Also, if, uh, with, uh, let's see, Dragon Off Mother 2, which you don't have. Bow mug, it would be in the arena. Silver light would also be in the arena for some of the bosses. And the balance elemental, it's kind of easy nowadays. Like most of, most of the bosses now are just plain easy. Let's see, it takes about like five to. 10 hits without turmoil. Doesn't hit that hard. So in my opinion, these abilities are kind of broken. But that's just my opinion. And uh, if y'all hear static, I am kind of sorry. It might be my mic. 
I will try to fix it whenever I can. Just don't have the money at the moment to do so. And this boss is kind of annoying. Whenever you hit him once or twice, he disappears and moves around. Yeah, that's the boss. Yeah. Couldn't remember for a second there. So yeah, to get the uh, pages and all the good stuff, it's like every ten floors, most likely. So yeah, uh, getting the books isn't hard nowadays, it's very easy. So yeah, the uh, more uh, points you get per uh, round, the higher odds you have of getting pages. So about like floor 10, you would have, uh, I think about a thousand, depending, or a hundred thousand, depending on your handicaps. And this mode is the fastest way to get the points. This one, this one boss does need the silver light, and it should spawn pretty near where you're going to be. And I try to get the uh, non-annoying abilities. This one, you just need to hit him when he's very low on HP once or a couple of times with the silver light. So, if you have Maul to weaken him or any other weapon, just switch to, s switch to the weapon given to you and just wreck him. So yeah, the abilities are way too good. It's kind of hard not to uh, die on most bosses nowadays. But some of the uh, bosses did get uh, buffed. Next, or next, takes, uh, is now a little longer. Um, let's see here, uh, trying to remember what other bosses was buffed. Not coming to me at the moment, but most likely later on it will. I think all God of Wars bosses, but not 100% sure. These, you don't really need food. You just need to kill the uh, mage. Then just wait for the dragon off looking food just to switch to orange like you just did now have soul split and just beat the wall crap out of them or it as you can see it does switch it it does switch like the others Ooh, that was a high hit. Going to eat just to be 100% safe. Now uh, I believe it's going to use magic. So yeah, some of the bosses are kind of weak. If I get to the uh, bosses that are a little harder, I will return. So until then, like these guys, for example, these are kind of hard. 
One of them would have demons that you have to kill to actually hit one of them, but the other two you're pretty good to go. So as you can see, I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's see. No, I guess I'll stick with that one. And yes, there are some abilities that helps a lot. And I forgot that one teleports, too. And I died. So yeah, it's pretty easy nowadays. Uh, Nomad takes no food, Pest Queen... But the uh, Sunfreet, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Let's see, yeah, you also get pretty good items, too. Okay, let's see, let's see. Got the foot, bank, get some more XP while we're at it. Gonna go with the range. And some more range. I can switch my armor real quick. Hopefully I remember the pattern. So yeah, the best way for Sunfreet is to use magic, and let's see, the Polypore does hit pretty well on it, and I'm going to try something new that I haven't tried yet, and I did beat it once. And the fight does take a while. So let me get my magic ability thing real Back up. To get to some free, it will be in specials. It will be that one. There is, and there is an easy version, and the hard one. But it, and it also takes a while to take down. And I can't take any. Power-ups, completely forgot about that part, so let's get some more food. And yes, you can also use abilities, and this boss really doesn't like me. Let's see, back up a little bit. So like right here. You know, it would start off like that. Wait until they get away and then move back a little more. As they fade away, you want to move forgot I got the pattern messed up. Now we move in to the very center and now after this it should land somewhere. And it has landed And yes, it does stun. 
Just now I remembered that. Didn't stun me last time I was doing this, but this does take a while. And it's very wise to keep it away, because it would use other attacks and it hits a lot more. And now as it's losing damage a little slowish as it moves away, you want to move away. And then also, while you wait, you might as well get some free heals with healing abilities. And yes, timing is also great when it comes to this. Let's see, can I... Nope. And also, no prayer could be loud, so this is going to be fun. In a very sarcastic way. This boss takes about... took me an hour last time, so this video might be long. And it might not. As you can see, you, as you can see, smashing buttons is your friend. And this boss is needed to be killed for the new achievement diaries. And let's see, where is it going to land? And it lands right over there. The XP on this boss, I think, is decent. Haven't really checked. So maybe during the video I might add some music. I think after, yep, this is the third, so the fourth would be everywhere, except the middle. Now where is it going? No, land. It lands right over there. Get some more healing in.
Actually, okay, this boss is very annoying because it flies around everywhere. I guess you can call it stages. Yeah, everyone just basically mail it or uh, mages, I guess. Mages, Sunfreet or Sunfret. Range is a maybe. Melee. Don't think anyone tried melee yet, but you really don't want to because he hits a lot more higher with his melee. As you can see, when he's doing this, you basically want to heal up. In the uh, pattern for the fireballs are the same, they're never different. So basically, wherever it lands, when it's about to fly away, that's where you kind of want to move to. Move back. And then stay there for another. Move forward to center, and then he should land. So yeah, it's kind of easy, but it's just a real pain in the butt. So it was right here, so let's stay right here. on the way back, eat Rocktail, because he hits kind of often now, then move in a little bit, and then run to the center, and you might get hit by a fireball, and now it should be landing right over there. So yeah, you can't use any ultimates. Wish you could, because it might be a little bit faster. But yeah, it'll be kind of a little too easy. Kind of wise to keep your HP over, let's say a thousand? if you can. Now it's going to go up and shoot some fireballs. So now since full full bar, let's go ahead and heal. Move closer to the gate now. Move closer to the center. That was uh, my bad moment. And there's no pattern where he's going to land next, I believe. But he does stun you a lot. Ok, 
apparently now he's starting to stun more. And yes, this is the method I used and I died. <laughs> 